Okay, now let's see some examples, okay? Here we are at page five, just a few examples. I'm going to be faster now because we have lots of examples, but I'm going to make everybody using the number line, okay? Next, next, next page is going to be for tricks. Now, okay, we have the number line. We're going to start at 15. And we are going to go backwards, six, okay? Because it's negative. Remember, go backwards. I'm not going to write anything now, okay? We have seen this in the previous video. Now it is just a more, uh, something, a faster uh, way to solve it. Well, 15, go back six, it means it's going to be 11, okay? I mean, not 11, it's going to be nine. No problems, okay? nine right okay 15 minus 6 just go backwards nine now another one we still have our number line we're going to start at five in here start at five now we're going to go backwards eight well in the middle of the way we're going to find the zero in here this is going to be the zero and we have to acknowledge that this is going to be five right okay so we are going to get back five but we have to get back three more right why because five with three it's eight so therefore this is going to be negative three okay we're just using the number line. Of course, that during your life you're not going to use a number line. You are, I'm just going to ex I'm just explaining to you what it is the theory behind it. Okay, <clears throat> we don't we don't do math using the number line. Okay, it, we just use tricks. Okay, but we have to know the basic, or sometimes you're not going to be able to solve something. Okay, it's just like that. We just have to have a very strong um, structure, a foundation. And if our foundation in math is very strong, we can build an airport, we can build uh, the, uh, the, Bur uh, the Burj Arab, okay? Uh, the Burj Al Arab, right? Um, those huge, uh, huge towers, okay, in Saudi Arabia. So uh, it doesn't matter what you have to face. And even if you have never seen that before, but if you have the basics, if you have the foundation, and if you and if you understand entirely the foundation, you can build anything over it. Okay, that is why I think it's the most important is to understand the basics and very well. With that, we can even uh, play Einstein over that. Okay. Now. We are going. We have our number line. We are going to start at a positive two. Okay, in here, and now we're going to go back six. Well, of course, we're going to pass through zero in this process. This is going to be the zero, and again, from here to here, is going to be just two. But we have to go oh, six, right? So if this part has magnitude two we have to go four more okay so that means we're going to be negative four in here okay so this is going to be negative four again let's take this one number line we're going to start at negative three and we're going to go backwards seven now it's the thing that I was talking about. We're just building more and more negatives. So I just have to add 3 and 7, 10. But it's minus 10. Why? Well, we are building everything negative. The same way, okay? We can uh, imagine this is in here. Imagine this is the ground, okay? We can build things into the positive side or we can build things into the negative side, okay? We are just adding things, but we are adding things upwards or maybe downwards. Okay, the next one. Now, we start at minus one and go back four spaces. Oops, 
four spaces, okay? And again, we're going to get what? If we just go uh, start at one, let's move four, okay? Look, those four in here, we're going to move, okay? So, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, okay? It's going to be negative five. We just had to make four jumps. In here, we had to make five, seven, right? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. In here, we had to make six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, okay. so it should be a negative five. You see, we're just adding negatives. So just add one and four. What, what is a one and four? Five, okay? But just put the negative. Why? Because we're just adding negatives. It, it can't be any positive there, okay? If everybody is going into the negative side, you, you can't go uh, against the wave. Now, again, in here, the number line that starts with... Oh, and one idea, one trick. Uh, as I just uh, started to... Uh, uh, as I started the exercise, try to go in front of me, okay? Try to... Um, even even mute sometimes don't mute me too much okay but try to mute me sometimes and do yourself okay but don't mute me too many times okay um okay it takes time to record those videos you know uh but well when you do with love it's it's everything's worth it and that's what i do i just love math and teaching so uh let's go back to math okay this is going to be negative four and again we're going to get back okay it mean rewind rewind go backwards go backwards okay uh, five okay let's do it let's just go back five times look one two three four five well minus four Let's get back five. Let's see. Minus four. We have to get back five, right? Minus four. Minus five. Minus six. Minus seven. Minus eight. Minus nine. Minus nine. Here. Minus nine. Again. Number line. This is going. We are going to start at my negative three. Aha, uh -huh, but now we are moving to the right. Okay, move to right. Okay, yeah, it should be blue anyway, okay? Just the direction, okay? Negative three, and now move to the right two. Okay, it's going to be what? Negative three, let's move two spaces. This is going to be negative two. One more. Negative one. Start. End. We are still into the negative part, okay? We couldn't go still to the positive. How much should we go to the positive? I mean, sh how much should we add over the negative three to get positive? At least three, right? Because negative 3 plus 3, we would fall exactly at 0. Of course, we couldn't do this yet, okay? So, we are still in the negative side. Now, again, this one. This one is this one. Uh, we'll start at negative 3. But now, go back a lot. 10, okay? Well, again... We are just adding negatives, you see? You can just see like that, just adding negatives. So, 3 and 10, what is 3 and 10? 13, right? Okay. I'm already starting to teach you the tricks. 
when you just have negatives never mind just add them okay it's just negative okay don't have to worry about it okay leave the theory behind you already know the theory you don't have to apply the theory because to apply the theory every time you're going to get nuts you're going to stay too long resolving the exercise and you're going to get nuts okay so you have to know the theory and I have explained to you the theory but don't use it okay you have to use tricks you have to use a uh, 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 fast moves okay so we can solve math okay and 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 why in the heck should we learn the theory if we don't have to learn to use the theory you have to know the theory because sometimes we don't know where to go we have never seen that exercise before and that is why we have to know the theory okay what is the uh, because some uh, what is the difference between that person that only knows tricks and that person who knows the tricks and the theory. The person who knows both, he can go anywhere. The person who knows tricks can only solve the exercises that he has faced before. That's, and this is uh, um, the difference between them. And, well, you know that sooner or later, your math teachers are going to present to you with exercises that you have never seen before. And they're going to look at the exercise. My gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh, I have never seen that. I'm going, I don't know what I'm going to do. But if you know the theory, you can just go back to the theory. It's going to take longer, of course, but you're going to be able to do it, okay? But if you only know tricks, you're not going to do the exercise. That is why it's important to know the theory, okay? You are not going to use it just maybe 5% of the times. Um, okay. Now, this is next one. We are going to start at negative. 12 and we're going now backwards is still backwards eight again we are just adding negatives right okay what is eight and twelve it's twenty negative twenty easy as that okay now again our number line we are going to start at two oh positive two right now it's positive two in here positive two and now we're going backwards four. Oh, now we're going to cross the zero line why because to cross the zero line it just need to right go back two, but we have to go to go back four to double of that so if we just go back two, we get to zero if we go back another two we just get at negative two and this is our final destination negative two okay you see so um, this um, page in here was a little bit faster and we are just applying what we have learned before okay so um, if you have not seen the previous videos I advise you to see it because if you only memorize the tricks Chances are you're going to get trouble, okay? Sooner or later, I promise, okay? Uh, everybody gets trouble sooner or later when they just uh, jump a few steps, okay? So, see you next video. It's going to be video number six, okay? Bye-bye.